Hey, thanks for joining me. I had this paper pad left over from the Simon Says Stamp April card kit. The paper is eight inches tall by six inches wide, so I decided to make two by three inch cards, which would allow me to make six cards from each paper. I used some white lightweight card I had on hand. I cut those at two by six inches, giving me 18. I folded each of these in half and corner chomped at half an inch. For the first layer of each card, I cut six two by three inch pieces from the patterned papers and corner chomped at half an inch, just like the card bases. I fussy cut six of these pretty girls from the patterned paper and added some foam tape to the back for a dimensional element. This stamp set is from Simon Says Stamp May Kit. I used my Misty stamping tool to set up each stamp, allowing me identical placement on each base and a chance to re-stamp and darken up my stamping. For each card, I used runner tape to attach the bases to the card front and then added a dimensional element. Some stamps are more high maintenance than others. This one required restamping two to four times each to get good dark coverage. And then I combined a couple stamps here to make a unique greeting. I have six of each design, 18 cards total. Enough for three gift sets. But every good gift set comes with envelopes. The envelope punch board comes with measurements on the side, but it doesn't give instruction for two by three inch cards. So I had to customize these numbers. I started with a five by five inch card, and I ended up scoring at two and a half and then two, two and a half and then two for all four sides. I had to double punch as you can see, but ended up not punching at all and just cutting out that area completely with scissors and subsequent envelopes. The back side of the punch is a corner chomper, and I had to use that to keep the corners in fit along the short side of the envelope. It's really not like the world's best envelope, but it works. So I made stacks of six envelopes and six cards and bound those together with a piece of twine. It was a little tricky. Tied a bow. And called it good. A really cute and sweet little treat for a friend. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Subscribe and join me again.